Hey everyone, it's Call Me Adam, and while it's frigid cold outside, we are heating things up inside with the cast of the hit off-Broadway show, Afterglow. Live from the loft at the Davenport Theater, please welcome Brandon Hagenson, Patrick Riley, and Joe Chisholm. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are ya? Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Wonder who he'll interview. Call me Adam.com. So this show, uh, it's quite a story. It, there's a lot happening in it. And I don't want to give too much away because I want everybody to come see it. But the basic premise of the show is that Brandon and, and Joe, jo, you guys are in uh, a relationship together, an open relationship. And one of the guys that you bring into the relationship is Patrick. So my first question is, what attracted each of you to the show? I know several um, uh, gay couples that have been married for a few years now, and a lot of them are trying to open up their relationship. And the first time I read the script, I saw a lot of my friends in the story, a lot. And I also had um, a good friend of mine when I lived in Los Angeles who kind of like went through the peaks and valleys of like, you know, is it a three-way? Is it, are we open? Are we a polyamorous? Like, who, you know, they didn't know and they were trying to define that and I kind of was with him through that whole thing. So I sort of was like, yeah, this is happening a lot. Let's take a crack at it. It is very unique in the, the specifics of this story. It is actually very widespread and universal yeah. and it's really just more or less about relationships and the concept of relationships. Um, and that kind of intrigued me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people I know that are in the same exact situation as, as your two characters. They're in a, in a relationship, and then they open things up, and then it, they open it up more. Throughout the show, you guys are naked, like, throughout the show. And you're in various positions throughout the show. So what's it like to be so exposed on a nightly basis? You get used to it. That is the question that's asked every time day, like every night afterward, if you have someone coming or, or not, but it, it really, like, no longer is it a thing at all to me, mm -hmm. but I would say at the beginning, it's kind of like, uh, you got to jump into the cold water and just do it, and like, Literally. it's really <laughs> just that. Like, I per personally didn't have like a huge ball of anxiety about it, mm -hmm. but, you know. What's the most awkward thing to happen between you guys so far and, and then between you guys and the audience? You mean while being naked? Yes, yes, while being naked. Our first, first show, our first preview, <laughs> when we were naked, Brandon <laughs> was walking right here and he slipped and truly slid oh all the way yeah. to the yeah, other yeah. side. Like of legs the in the air, like it was yeah. really bad. Yeah. I mean, it was falling on stage sucks, but falling naked on stage, it doesn't get a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. there's no padding. Yeah. 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 There's no padding? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least if you have clothes, there's something. Oh, no, he's got some padding. I got some padding. He's got some padding. Yeah. All right, no. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah. Um, yeah. but no dignity <laughs> after that, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was, it was really embarrassing for him, I will yeah. say. Was it slippery? Was Thanks it? for sharing that, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. So I would imagine performing in a show about gay relationships that there are a lot of rumors that circulate around. And I have a new segment to my interviews that I call I Can See Clearly Now, where I try to clear up misconceptions. So what do you guys feel might be the biggest misconception out there, either about the show I think the first misconception and the biggest one is that like this is some sort of like peep show or like a porny kind of piece. Mm -hmm. It is truly like not that. Mm -hmm. It is like you might, I, I won't judge you if you come to see Naked Men, but you're gonna leave feeling something completely different than when you walked in. Mm -hmm. I think a big misconception about the show is that it's for gay men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about gay men, but it's also about marriage. It's about love. It's about what you need from someone. It is about sex. It's about what comes after sex yeah. in the short and the long term. And it's, there's all sorts of women that come to the show, all sorts of straight men that come to the show. And they, they love it all for different reasons. Because mm -hmm. what happens in the show happens, but it's also about these broader things yeah. that everyone can pull from. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Especially in the United States, like the, the concept of nudity is immediately sexualized. Yeah, and it isn't. 
<laughs> and I think this show is is uh, is very much proof of that. It's just uh, it's everyone is naked at multiple times during their life in their day and very few yeah. times of those are actually sexualized it's just yeah. a normal yeah. part of of your day and mm -hmm. your experience just ask anybody who's had um at um lives for the business of show call me adam.com